The vote of no confidence has set processes to follow, and it is vital that these processes are followed through. This information was relayed to the media today by Parliament staff consisting of Acting Clerk Kala Alpha, Acting Deputy Clerk Basil Kambuliagen, and Parliament Council Richard Whitchurch. This is to counter misinformation and confusion that may be circulating in the media and especially social media. At last week's parliamentary sitting, the Speaker confirmed that he had received the motion for the vote of no confidence 10 minutes before Parliament sat. Following question time and grievance debate, Parliament was adjourned on votes 59 to 50 in favor of the government to the 28th of May. As Parliamentary Council Richard Whitchurch explained, this means that there was no sitting on Wednesday and Thursday. Because there was no session on Wednesday, the motion couldn't go before the Private Business Committee. Therefore, it has not been looked at by them, which is a requirement as per Parliament's standing orders. Therefore, not going through there, it has also not been put on the notice paper yet. So, in a nutshell, it's not going to be dealt with on the 28th. However, the parliamentary staff clarified that seven days is the minimum constitutional requirement for a notice of motion of no confidence on the notice paper. Any time after that, the motion can be moved. A vote of no confidence doesn't have to be done in seven days. A motion can sit on the notice paper for months before it is moved. That a motion can be put on the notice paper and can run for months without being moved. It's up to the mover. Whoever puts the motion forward is the one that's going to move. Lillian Soperakinea, National, MTV News.